Hello guys, um, just thought I'd come back with a bit of a vid. Um, back up in the retro room. I've got a few little pickups and just basically just want to talk about like nostalgia and games that I remember and where my collection's going. If you go back to one of my very first bit, well it is my actually very first bit you'll see that my room is pretty much getting a bit similar I'm replacing stuff that I sold along the way like the Wonder Mega I've replaced and I've got another console coming that I've replaced had a bit of a tight change around and um, yeah basically all this stuff up here now is I mean some of the Mega Drive games are new they don't hold much nostalgia but I really like the artwork and stuff on the Japanese stuff, so Mega Drive Focus is where it's at. But yeah, I just thought I'd come back and have a little natter. The Terror of Doom's getting bigger again, look. <laughs> so, I've actually moved the TV out of here as well. I've actually made this space on here for the next console I'm getting. Um, I want to get a better stand than this, uh, see if I get a black glass one, you can pick them up pretty cheap now, second hand. Let's just set it off a bit better. Um, so I've got another console going there, I want to have my super gun set up here. This is my Rygar PCB obviously, super grass, PC engine. Just want, set, just want it looking nice now. Um, pretty much got most of the games I want for them systems. bit of Rygar, you can't beat it, can't beat it at all, but yeah, I'll give you a bit of clue what, um, well it's not a clue, it's a total giveaway, what system I've got coming, I've just picked that up recently, I picked that up a while ago, then some of my two favourite games on the system, so I'll be glad to have that back, not collecting Super Family no more, I really don't like the boxes, they're just too fragile and Great console, but I think I might pick up an Everdrive for that later on. I did pick up an arcade stick, boxed, for the Mega Drive, six button one, nice little stick actually. So yeah guys, um, why don't I just talk about some of my most, most nostalgic games, and um, we'll go from there. Have a slurp of the good stuff. Well, this is just console games, not arcade games. This is just console games, but I have done a video on my on this. Obviously, this isn't the game, right? I, the copy I had originally, because I had a NES, at a free, Freeman's catalogue, <laughs> going back quite a while when I was a kid, probably about 14. Um, I have done a video on it, I shall put a link to the video so I don't have to explain it all again. But this has to be Super Mario Brothers. I mean, not this version. I mean, this, this is a bit battered, but I've had this a few years now. But this game, when this came out, it was it was something else completely, man. It was absolutely brilliant. And when you, when you went from a Spectrum to a Nintendo NES and you played Super Mario Brothers, it was, like, pretty mind-blowing. So, for me, Super Mario Brothers is definitely up there well it is one of my all time favourite games it really did change the way for gaming for me from, from went from a C16 Commodore C16 then to a Spectrum and then I had a Nintendo NES and um, fortunately it's all gone it's long since gone sadly but uh, you don't think of these things when you're younger we should have kept it now obviously but that's the way it goes. The next game, to jump up again, it's a 16-bit. This is probably my all-time favourite Mega Drive game, well it is. And it's Super Shinobi, but I had like the Revenge of Shinobi. Absolutely love this game, absolutely fantastic. Probably the best game on the system for me. I remember seeing this in magazines and that. And it was just, look, like, uh, Mean Machines and that, and computer video games magazine back in the day. And it was just, blow it was just mind-blowing, this game was. It was just it was like the first time you got arcade quality graphics and sound in the home so I've also done a video on that I should put a link 
down below in the description like so if you want to check that out so I've already spoke about it and it holds a lot of memories for me this game not this game but Revenge of Shinobi and then the third and final one I don't think I've spoke about this before is Ridge Racer on the PS1 there used to be um, a game shop like a swap shop where you go and swap your games and you used to have a load of arcade machines in there he had like a full sit down Ridge Racer he had a Tekken cab um, Daytona, loads of Neo Geo cabs, Street Fighter 2, where I bought my first arcade cab from and Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition but I used to have Ridge Racer and I used to go down there, swap a few games, you know and um, play on the arcades and play on the cabs and Ridge Racer and Tekken would back then it was probably about 1995 which was absolutely mind blowing, 95, yeah 95 and the one time I went down there, he got a Jap PS1 on import, just come out. Wanted something ridiculous for it, about 600 quid I think. But it had Ridge Racer, and it had Tekken. And he was, I can remember him showing me Ridge Racer on it and Tekken, and I was just absolutely blown away by this game. Uh, basically I was playing the arcade cabin, and it's like, it looked like you was getting the arcade cabin in the home. Do you know what I mean? It was absolutely mind blowing. Little did we know it was the death of the arcade at the time, which is a, a shame, but PS1, Ridge Racer and Tekken it holds a lot of memories for me. So yeah, that's it guys. So yeah, I've just um like I say this room now is pretty much it's different but I'm back back in the same room as I was in before. But it's looking similar to how it was. If you go back to my very first vid, like I said, and uh, most of the consoles and that as well. I've had. It's been a bit of a journey on the old YouTubes, the buying and selling and that. But um, we've come full circle now, and I'm just replacing stuff that I've sold, like the Wonder Mega, and I've got an AES coming, and a few games. So yeah, guys, that's about it, really. I I've um, run out of room up there, I've not got my 32X games up there anymore. My Mega CD, I've had a bit of a tidy round. And there in here, here's all the 32X. I put the Vampire Killer down there, it's a repro. It's. I don't want it up there contaminating my original games, you know what I mean? But I'm not going to sling it. So, but I'll just keep it down there. I mean, I, I have had the original in the past, but with it being worth so much money, even if I had the original again now, I'd sell it. I can't justify having games on the shelf worth three or four hundred pounds. It's just absolutely ridiculous. I've, um, I just replaced, like I said, replacing a few bits and pieces, but my limit now is fifty quid on games. I'm not, I'm not spending over fifty quid. I'm really not. Any, any more than that, you can keep it. Plenty of games out there you can pick up cheap, and that's what I'll be picking up if I pick any up at all. I think I've pretty much got what I want, so there you go, guys. You make a CD, Final Fight, what else we got? Sleepy, Robo Alest. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with my collection at the moment. Ace game. But, um, that's all me backups and stuff, some DS stuff here, I don't know if anybody's interested in these, they're no use to me because I've not got a 3DS but I don't know if anybody wants that, that's actually sealed, factory sealed that is, you can see there, there's a couple of others, some loose Famicom games, Contra, absolutely brilliant, a few Mega Drive, a few Genesis, Super Fami, well, yeah, guys, a couple of PCBs. Um, I did get a pile of Wii games as well. I don't know if anybody's interested in these. They were no use to me. So, if you're interested in any of these, or I'll just soon like do it in a bundle. I'll swap you for like a a game. Do you know what I mean? A Mega Drive game or anything. Super Famicom game. There's there's nothing brilliant. But like I say, this that can go. This can go. This, all them can go. Brunswick Bowling, can't, they're all complete, I think the discs have got marks in that, Pikmin, 
There's no, there's all like, sh they're just like shovelware. But if you've got kids and that, they might be up your street, you know, keep the kids quiet. Musical thing, weight loss thing, We Fit Plus, We Fit. Michael Jackson, Disney, Summit Crap. So nothing for me, mate, but if there's any use to any of you guys, let me know, man. I'm sure we can sort something out. I've also sold my Continental Circus Cab, and this is the spare PCB that will be going with it. Um, I've got two Virtua Fighter 3 PCBs there, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. And that's a spare Squid Race, so, I mean, that's a keeper. But yeah, guys, that's about it. Just thought, uh, a bit of a natter. Plastic stuff, Rygar. Takes me back. Original PCB as well. That's definitely a keeper. Alright guys, just a bit of a natter. And a bit of an update on my room. Thanks for watching. And I'll speak to you later.